Hey guys, Greenbird here. I hope everyone's doing awesome. Today I'm going to do a quick video on putting some notches into the T-Rex point that I've been working on. So uh, it's, a, it's a rather long point. <laughs> As you can see, it's going to definitely be a spear. It should probably be a knife. But um, I feel like making this into a point instead. So I'm going to touch up the edges just a little bit. Because they do need just a little bit of touch up. This isn't going to be super, super razor sharp. Um, just because it's going to be display point. It could be made that sharp, but um, I'm probably going to grind the edges off after the fact and bring this down to, you know, a safer kind of display piece. So, <clears throat> I have sharpened my pressure flakers. And I'm going to just do a little bit of touch-up shaping here. Just a tad. There we go. This thing stayed long, and I don't want to ruin that now. Sometimes less is more. Just kind of wanted to bring that shape true. A little bit of touch up on this base here too. You can see it's not 100% symmetrical. So I think I'm going to put some simple side notches in this for a couple of reasons. One, um, I just love the way they haft. For me, it seems to be one of the easiest ways it hafts. And it's kind of an easy notch to do. It's just going straight in. Probably just jinx myself, but... Um, so I am going to grind this a little bit. I did go across the edges and try and bring it into shape, but you have to be careful when you get obsidian thin, especially rainbow obsidian, because sometimes when you put it up to the light, you know, you'll see spots that are thinner on one edge than the other, and it makes it look like it's kind of like zigzaggy, and it's really not. So sometimes as a kind of a cheat, I'll just put it against a, a black surface or a dark surface just to kind of see exactly what my shape is. Go ahead and grind off real good where I'm going to put those side notches. This point's relatively thin. We can do a lot of sharpening after the fact if we want to. If I want to turn this from a display point 
to a um, yeah, there's a thick edge right there to a functional point. This is way too big to really be a functional point, but I'm just saying in theory that's um, right, let's see. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the flat side of my pad and Rex Tex brought up an excellent point in my last video. I just never realized kind of what I was doing, flipping it back and forth. If you uh, try to notch when you're too thin, or if you try to do any work when you're too thin, if your pressure isn't right, your angles aren't right, you do uh, have a good chance of snapping it there in that groove. I mean, you can do it. I do it all the time, but uh, I've noticed as I get my points thinner and thinner, I tend to slip. I tend to turn back to this... Uh, flat side. I do have a thick I do have a thick portion here though that I, I want to take with that groove on this one side. There we go. Yeah I'm gonna take <laughs> I'm gonna use this groove side again. Side's a little thinner, so I'm gonna. Well, yeah, let's just stay consistent. So I'm using the grooves. Ouch. Uh, groove side. Just because it makes sense for me right now. So it's pretty thin here. I'm going to flip back to this flat side to run a flake. It doesn't have to be long. It ran perfectly. Well, not perfectly. Nothing's ever perfect. But you know what I mean. Squeeze just my legs there. Yeah, this flat edge does work really good when it's real thin and you don't want to take a chance on, um, you know, that pressure in that groove. I mean, if you don't, if you put too much pressure in the middle there, and even if you don't sometimes, it just, it'll snap it right in half and take it right then and there. Yep, so these notches are coming along decently. I'm actually going to switch down to a smaller tool. This is what I'm using now. This is what I'm going to switch down to. It's a little bent and gnarly. But it works just fine. I'm trying to remember to use my legs. It's so important. You get excited and you forget. some even notches. I think we might. Yeah, 
just a tiny bit of correction on this one side, but I think we got it. So. Again, grinding it off. No, I'm taking off that sharp edge, but it doesn't need to be sharp at this moment. Hmm. And I don't know about you, but I'd say that's a relatively decent point. Pretty flat. Could use a little tune-up, I suppose. good side notches on it. Like I said, I love side notches. And again, I wonder if I can get this in the light. Sometimes, maybe I can put it behind my hand. What appear to be kind of flawed edges come into more symmetry when you have that uh, dark background behind them. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be more to come. Talk to you soon.